China's been flexing its infrastructure muscle, while America, well, it's been lagging behind a bit. China's annual infrastructure investment, it's roughly 8% of their GDP. America, barely 2.5%. Don't misunderstand, America isn't weak. It's impressively engineered. The Hoover Dam, Golden Gate Bridge, and interstate highway systems show America's infrastructure strength. However, this, infrastructure transcends time. Future matters. And that's where China is scoring big. High-speed trains are whizzing nationwide at speeds America America can only dream of. Cities lit up with state-of-the-art 5G networks. So, what's causing this massive infrastructure gap between America and China? Why is America struggling to compete? To comprehend that, we must examine America's infrastructure development issues and China's rapid expansion. In our next section, we'll explore the American infrastructure dilemma. An American Infrastructure Dilemma A Closer Look The United States is currently holding a C-. It's a barely average performance that leaves much room for improvement. Let's analyze the hurdles. First, there is bureaucracy. U.S. infrastructure projects need an average of seven years to get federal approval. This lengthy procedure slows and wastes time. Fragmented decision-making follows. Each level of government has authority and varied priorities. Project execution typically suffers from this lack of vision and strategy. The Highway Trust Fund, which finances infrastructure, is near bankruptcy. Underused public-private partnerships might cover the financial shortfall. These symbols of engineering prowess reflect the country's potential. However, the goal of infrastructure development is not merely to celebrate past successes. It's about investing in the future and maintaining a competitive edge. It's a continuous process. Currently, America is losing pace in this race. China's infrastructure boom, the dragon's ascent. Now we turn our attention eastward to the rising dragon, China. We see a landscape transformed by an infrastructure boom unlike any other. China's infrastructure model presents a stark contrast to the American experience. Skyscrapers, motorways, and high-speed rail have transformed China's environment in recent decades. The figures are impressive. China spends approximately 8% of its GDP on infrastructure development annually. This massive investment has yielded remarkable results. The country has more high-speed rail than any other nation. China has seven of the world's 10 busiest ports. China's infrastructure growth is shown through engineering and planning. What allows this? China's centralized decision-making is crucial. China's infrastructure projects are centrally planned, unlike the US. Top-down decision-making and project execution speed up. Financing is also less of an issue in China. The government, through state-controlled banks, readily provides funds for infrastructure projects. Moreover, public-private partnerships are common, further boosting the available resources. China's approach has been criticized, yet its success cannot be denied. The development of the country's infrastructure has been a driving force behind its explosive economic expansion and international clout. Belt and Road – China's Overseas Infrastructure Plan China's Belt and Road Initiative represents a major development in the country's infrastructure history. This huge undertaking goes far beyond China's borders, demonstrating the country's growing global might. Introduced in 2013, the Belt and Road Initiative seeks to establish land and sea corridors linking Asia, Africa, and Europe. Over 60 nations, home to roughly 65% of the world's population, are included in the huge scope. Financially, the undertaking is immense. China invests billions into infrastructure Infrastructure projects within the Belt and Road framework, ports in Pakistan, railways in Laos, highways in Kenya, and much more. This initiative exemplifies China's strategy, using infrastructure as a tool for economic and political influence. By funding and building infrastructure worldwide, China strengthens its international relationships and secures its position as a global leader. However, the Belt and Road Initiative also faces criticism. Some view it as a form of debt diplomacy, where China could gain control over strategic assets if borrowed countries default. The environmental impact of these large-scale projects also raises concerns. Despite these challenges, the Belt and Road Initiative persists, marking China's bold foray into global infrastructure development. It illustrates how China, through focused planning and financing, has managed to extend its infrastructure influence on a worldwide scale. U.S. Infrastructure, the Constraints and Challenges Firstly, the issue of bureaucracy is significant. Permitting infrastructure projects at the federal level in the United States is a time-consuming procedure. It usually takes around seven years. The country's capacity to swiftly undertake infrastructure projects is hampered due to this holdup. 
Another problem is the procedure for making decisions. When building new infrastructure in the United States, many levels of government are involved. Unfortunately, these groups seldom make decisions in a united, organized manner. The Highway Trust Fund, which finances infrastructure improvements to the nation's road and other surface transportation, is dangerously near to running dry. Despite being a viable option, public-private partnerships are underutilized. By 2025, the U.S. will have spent $4.5 trillion on infrastructure repair and enhancement, according to the ASCE. In its pursuit of infrastructure development, the United States encounters various obstacles. Because of these problems, the nation has difficulty keeping up with China's fast infrastructure development. Continuing our analysis, we'll explore China's advantage, a centralized decision-making system, and ambitious planning. What lessons can the United States learn from China's approach? China's Edge, Centralized Decision-Making and Long-Term Planning. We focus on China to understand why its infrastructure development strategy has proven so effective. A key advantage lies in China's centralized decision-making process. Unlike the U.S., where infrastructure planning often involves multiple layers of authority, China's central government drives most infrastructure projects. This top-down approach facilitates swift decision-making and efficient implementation. In addition to centralized control, China also excels in long-term planning. The country frequently engages in five-year planning cycles, allowing for sustained, large-scale infrastructure development. This comprehensive approach enables China to embark on ambitious projects like the Belt and Road Initiative. Financing, too, is streamlined in China. State-controlled banks provide the necessary funds for infrastructure projects. Public-private partnerships are also common, further bolstering available resources. For instance, 2020, China made a hospital in Wuhan within 10 days in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Such feats are a testament to China's infrastructure capabilities. Nevertheless, China's swift and efficient approach to infrastructure development cannot be overlooked. The United States may learn about dealing with its infrastructure problems by studying China's strategy. We will end our examination by considering what the United States can learn from China. This is not a straightforward issue. Join us as we dig further into this topic and advance the discussion. Inspiring a new era of American infrastructure. As our discourse concludes, we are left pondering one essential question. What does the future hold for American infrastructure? America's infrastructure challenges are undeniable. Ancient structures, bureaucratic red tape, fragmented decision-making, and financing hurdles constitute significant roadblocks. Yet it's within these challenges that America's opportunity for growth lies. The road ahead necessitates a radical rethinking of America's approach to infrastructure. By incorporating lessons from China's model streamlining decision-making, incorporating long-term planning, improving funding mechanisms, and harnessing innovation, America can begin to engineer its infrastructure revolution. Yet this cannot merely be a copy-paste approach. America must mold these lessons into a model that aligns with its unique societal and economic fabric. A blend of public-private partnerships, technological innovation, and a commitment to sustainable and resilient infrastructure could herald the dawn of a new era. Imagine smart cities illuminated by renewable energy, highways lined with charging stations for electric vehicles, nationwide high-speed rail networks, and digital infrastructure that ensures universal connectivity. This is possible if the U.S. has the political will and strategic foresight. America's Infrastructure Awakening As we draw this detailed discussion close, it's time to reflect on the broader implications of America's infrastructure problem. We've looked at the vast divergence in infrastructure development between America and China. China's rapid ascent, driven by central, long-term planning, contrasts with the U.S. scattered and underfunded infrastructure initiatives. The solution for America doesn't just mimic China's approach, but takes inspiration from it while tailoring a uniquely American strategy. The pillars of this strategy? More streamlined decision-making, future-oriented planning, innovative and sustainable financing mechanisms, and harnessing America's technological prowess. Envision a nation where infrastructure fosters economic vitality, improves the quality of life, and strengthens the fabric of communities. Next generation public transit, electrical grids, water systems, and inclusive digital infrastructure are all possible. It's real. It's plausible. America's infrastructure crisis should spark a national awakening, an opportunity for the U.S. to compete and set global infrastructure development 
cognitive norms. Visualize the United States with 21st century infrastructure, a world with efficient public transportation, reliable electricity grids, ubiquitous digital connection, and cutting edge seaports and airfields is within reach. The United States has everything necessary to succeed. Infrastructure investment fosters economic growth, social fairness, and environmental sustainability. The future chapters in the history of American infrastructure are yet to be written, and we all have a part in doing so.